Thank you, Diane. In entertainment news today, popular fitness host Tammy Tennyson has been fired from the show Aerobics Wow. The network's reason for the layoffs is reportedly Miss Tennyson's recently developed inner ear problem, which caused her to fall over and vomit repeatedly throughout shooting. After Tammy fell into the Arctic Ocean off a cruise ship during an on-location shoot, the producers of the show seized an opportunity to move on to a different host rather than search for the presumed dead Miss Tennyson. However, to avoid disrupting ratings and because of Tennyson's popularity, network executives have rushed in a new host who shares Tennyson's lineage. Her cousin, Ralph Tennyson, a societal recluse who until yesterday had lived in a telephone booth, will now host the fitness show. No news yet on how that young man is doing. Hey everyone, get off that couch covered in Cheetos and start moving. It's time for Aerobics Wow! And now for your new host, Ralph Tennyson! Hello, and welcome to Aerobics Wow! I'm your new host, Ralph Tennyson, here to replace my completely dead cousin. Or so the federal government wants you to believe. Aerobics is not an easy thing. With my help? I think we'll get through it. Stop staring at me! Now let's go over accessories first. I know Tammy. I know she required headbands. Let's keep that. But let's make them metal ones. Common aluminum foil will do the trick over the whole cranium. It keeps the government from tracking you with its brain transmitters. <laughs> okay, I thought we would start out with some general exercises. Now, it is common knowledge that the world is controlled by a race of anthropomorphic bears. When the bears decide to come and attack us in an all-out war, we need to be prepared to fight! All right, let's start out in the base position. And then we claw the bear's eyes out. Now this may seem unconventional, but remember, these bears are merciless freaks! I said stop staring at me! Don't look at me! Just hands! Now, I know you may be tired, but just let the voices in your head motivate you. Mm. Yes! Yes! I will strive! Let's do some running in place. Good! We're avoiding the pursuing fence and running in a number of random alleys. Stop! Make yourself invisible against a wall. Hold it. Hold it. That was good. I think we've lost them. But just to be safe, let's hide in a dumpster. Lift up the lid and use your upper body strength to pull yourself in. Don't move. Don't breathe. Stop your heart from beating. And don't move. Hold it. Okay, good job. Now, of course, this is just a shortened version of what we would have to do to avoid the fence. Usually, it takes up to two weeks, and you have to sustain yourself by eating a steady diet of garbage and your own urine. Okay, now let's formulate a situation. We are in Area 51, and behind a wall in a Vault of hidden treasures. Einstein's time machine, the Holy Grail, the frozen head of Emmanuel Lewis and Abraham Lincoln. It's glorious! But to get there, we have to break through a concrete wall. We're going to use our cranium muscles to break through. Are you ready? <laughs> One, two. You can't censor me, big brother! Ah, ah, ah. My thoughts! They can see them! They can see my-